fam, welcome to this channel. Uh, my name is Luvuno, Luvuno K, and I am so glad that you clicked on this video to watch this video. Thank you so very much. If you are new, feel right at home. So today, after my errands, after yeah, after my errands, I went by Marketi to buy some vegetables for the whole of December, this month, and next month. So, I think let me just show you the haul because I could not film the direction for you. But if you are wondering where Marikiti is, it's just opposite, um, oppo how can I explain? It's opposite Muzurwa, Muzurwa Market, but not Muzurwa Market, just above Muzurwa Market. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't know if there's a proper way to explain it, but I will leave a caption. I'll leave a text here to explain to you where Marikiti is. So I had seen that they normally have really good deals at, uh, as opposed to buying in the, in the estate and I just thought let me just show you the haul and how much I got it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I bought is this Dania. Yeah, this Dania. I bought this for 20 shillings, 20 Kenyan shillings, and it's a lot. Like you can buy, you can buy, I don't think it's serving because it's normally five bob in the estate, but this can be put in the freeze, fridge really well and it could serve you for a whole month. So look at all that. Another name for, for Dania, it's coriander, I think. Yeah, so all of this bunch was 20 shillings. And then I bought pineapples. So this pi these pineapples, I bought two of them. This size was going for 30 Kenyan shillings. Can you imagine? So I learned that if you want to know if a pineapple is ready, you just um, pull this one, this inner, this inner leaf. If it comes out easily, then it's ready. If not, then it's not ready. So I bought two of them for 30 shillings. So that's 60 sh Kenyan shillings. So let me just remove this mask. I saw 60 Kenyan shillings for this pineapple. For two pineapples actually. And then I really, really wanted, um, I really, really wanted some bell peppers, these red ones red ones and yellow ones these ones so <clears throat> these ones are a bit expensive hi focus focus these ones are a bit expensive so for this one this one was going for this this is one kg and it was going for to 50 kenyan shillings which i think is really expensive but it's cheaper than the supermarket, so I just went with it. But I think if I bargained more, I could have gotten it for even 150 because I saw some people who bought it for cheaper than that. So this is the one thing that you can... If you go there, just just don't settle on one price. Bargain. Bargain. I wish I bargained. So that's that. And then I bought a watermelon. So a watermelon goes for... Why is this becoming dark? A watermelon. A watermelon, there it is. A watermelon goes for 35 Kenyan shillings per kg. This is 3 kgs. So she sold it for me for 100 Kenyan shillings. So another trick for watermelons that I found out if you buy it and you don't want don't store it immediately just leave it on the counter for like two or three days and then cut it so the sugar levels will have concentrated and it will be much sweeter and watery and all that good stuff so that's another tip for watermelons yeah so this was 100 kenyan shillings and then what did i get then i got ginger i love ginger i cook with a lot of spices in this house so this is half kg ginger it's how it looks and there are more there are many more inside here 
big, they are big clubs like this. So I intend to grind this and make it into a paste and store it in the freezer or the fridge so that it lasts longer. So this one was, this is half kg of ginger and it was 60 Kenyan shillings for half a kg. For, for, for one kg it's 120 Kenyan shillings. So if you are a lover, lover, lover of ginger, you can go for this one. So then I got um, five white onions. Yeah, five white onions for well, they're a hundred bob. So now this is the these onions. I don't know how much they normally cost. So <laughs> I think I might have been tricked. I don't know. But right now that I know these five are a hundred, I think it's the expensive. Singly gongwa. I think a hundred five onions for five five onions is just too too expensive. This should have been at least fifty shillings. But anyway, right now I know and it won't happen. So I think you can go there and buy again. I think many may go one next time. I you live and you learn, guys. <laughs> you live and you learn. So these ones I bought them for four hundred bob. But also. Uh, white onions or yellow onions are not that common so I could say they might be a bit expensive than the red onions so please leave it in the comment if I was conned please so that next time it doesn't happen to me so that's that and then and then I got carrots I got carrots for what 50 shillings let me show you how how they how how many how many carrots I'll give them to fifty kenya shillings. So why will I put them? Let me put them in this plate. These are worth 50 Kenyan shillings. She just um, measured them with a, with a, sorry again. <laughs> she just measured them with a container. So these are worth 50 Kenyan shillings. Yeah. And then you have already seen these onions. Now these are the red onions. These are 100 Kenyan shillings. But these are really big onions. I told her they are ones for, they were, they were supposed to be a lot of them. This is one kg, but I told her I want big onions because I just love cooking with big onions. So this one was going for 100 Kenyan shillings. And then the rest of these are potatoes. I bought these ones for 100 shillings too. And they are big, they are this size. Yeah. This is almost one and a half kg. So <laughs> that's it for the haul. Let me now put them aside and uh, see, see in the next one. Let's, let's put them away and uh, let's clean them and put them away and store them. So I will show you how I store each and every one of them from the ginger to the watermelon to the pineapple and the carrots. So. So we are going to continue this part of the video with a voiceover. So first we will we'll clean all the vegetables before we start all the storing process.
so the first thing we are going to put away is the pineapple so first we are going to we are going to want to peel all of its skin and all of those spots that i norma are normally left on its skin make sure you remove all of them because they are normally bitter then after that you want to to chop it into small sizes and store it in a container with a lid then the container will in turn be stored in the fridge So I love cooking with ginger a lot, cooking it in my foods and putting it in my tea. So to make it more convenient for use, I'm going to peel all of the ginger, chop it into small sizes. Then I'm going to grind it with uh, the, a pistol and mortar. I found out that, that this process is very, very tedious. So if you have a blender, you can use it to make the process even much easier. Then you, you will blend all the ginger until it forms into a smooth paste. Then you, you will transfer it into a tin and then you will then transfer the ginger into a Ziploc bag and divide it into sections. Then you will place it in the freezer for about 5 minutes, just enough for it to harden. Then from there you can store it in the container of your choice. Then, then any moment you want to use the ginger you can just pull out a piece of it just like I will show you in this video. So I also got some green onions from the Estate grocery shop and they don't look that nice because they have all the dirt and uh, withered leaves but it's nothing a, a, a little cleaning cannot do. So once they are washed they become really nice and fresh and uh, appealing to the eyes. Now for the green onions I love to use them a lot while cooking meat or while cooking mokimo. 
so for the tip for this one is that after i wash them i chop them and i chop them and uh, store them in a tin and put it in the freezer so once i put it in the freezer and they are frozen if they stay for longer and it's so 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 much easier for, to use because you just grab a handful put it in the cooking pot and continue with your cooking errands it easens and shortens the cooking time too how beautiful they are looking right now wow they are so 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 appealing and eye-catchy so this is the process that i was telling you about Now for the dania or parsley or coriander, the tip to storing this for a long time is to put them in an airtight container. So if you don't have an airtight container, you can similarly use a plastic paper bag or a foil, a cling film. So for the clean, this is the first um, method to storing the, the parsley. So first you put it, if it's not dry, put a paper towel under it then clean fill clean free film it all around make sure you leave no space and that it is airtight sealed So this is the second storage method for the parsley or the dania. So take an airtight container and put some paper towels underneath. Mine were not, were not dry, that's why I put the, uh, the paper towels underneath. But it's also advisable that you put some paper towels, even if your dania are dry, so that um, any water that drips underneath does not spoil the dania. Oh, and then lock the container, shut it seal, and uh, put it in the fridge. Now for the carrots they work the same way as the dania or the parsley but for the carrots you have to make sure that they are dry before you storing them. Now in the container that you are going to store the carrots make sure that you line it with uh, some kitchen paper towels or if you don't have the paper towel you can just use a, a cloth kitchen towel because the carrots tend to remove some water once you store them. So make sure that the make sure that the container is sealed once you store the carrots and put it in the fridge. But even if you don't have a fridge, this method will still work with them stored on the counter. Alternatively, you can also use the cling film method or you can use a tight plastic you can use a plastic bag and and seal it tightly. So once you're done prepping all your vegetables, you're going to store them in the fridge. The, con the ones in the container, store them in the container. I would advise you to store them uh, on the shelf that is closest to the freezer and then for the bell peppers 
and the parsley or dania i'm going to store them in the bin that comes with the fridge itself So for the ginger, like I told you, I forgot about it and right now it's about, it's been 30 minutes and it's rock solid. So this is how it looks. So it's, it has frozen into the dices that you you uh, laid, laid out for it. So all you have to do is just remove the dices and store it in the container. So when you, the next time you want to cook, you just grab one piece and throw it in your tea or in your vegetable that you are cooking. And it makes cooking so much more easier. So we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a few things. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because it goes a long way to support the growth of the channel. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.